Okay. Yeah, Our, back from Johnson, back door down. If it's a section of the building, it may ground out. Oh. Probably. And you get as tight as you can. You got it. Okay, you got to get. You got to bring this off of here. So you're going to take that corner. You're going to, so you're going to want to stretch that. No, yeah, right. Okay, so God, I don't know how <laughs> this is 140 feet and we got all those left. Mm -hmm. Where the heck are we gonna go with it? We might have to go up the hill maybe? I don't even know. Does it have to make a complete loop? Oh, you know what? We can double it. Well, what I was thinking is if it doesn't have to be both ends connected to each other. I don't think that they do. It could go up to the front of the box and then LN at the front end of the box. Well, let's, okay, so what's. But you're probably going to want a weed whip to get rid of the vegetation first. Well, we're going to need to get this vegetation out of here. So I, want, I want to come around here, um, come around the back side. So mm -hmm. we're incorporating the whole, this whole area. And then try to, you know, get um, that part. So John, what, what got you into prepping? Just always kind of in it, in a way. Too many YouTube videos. Right? There's, not, there's no YouTube in China, so nah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so there's the battery is back there. We just got to yeah. plug that in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, I just got whacked anyway, in the top of the head. To it's, it's nice to have diversity. That 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 way they can't. It's harder for them to claim a bunch of uh, white supremacists doing all this shit. Right. Uh, what language? We're recording. Ooh. No, you're fine. Um. Can could, you cut could, it? Can you cut that? Could we? No, it's all right. Don't worry. Um. Can we borrow your gloves and maybe Johnson can start pulling that vegetation? You want another shot? I'll go grab another shot. You're up by the, by the dig. Oh, okay. Well, you want to, so, you want to go on the outside of that, Johnson, and just start pulling everything, you know, through here, um, through this whole area. Just start pulling the weeds. Okay. All right. Um, you want to grab another set, then? Yeah, I'll go up and grab another set. Okay. All right, so, um, we're just, just kind of, let's lean that. Back this up a little. We don't want to go. Oh, 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 we don't want to get things tangled. Bunch of foot. Another foot. Yep. Okay. So we don't want to get it tangled. All right. So anyway, guys, what we're doing here, just so you kind of get an idea, um, we are getting the B fence set up, uh, and I know it's not super high. Uh, that's what they had available, so that's what we ended up getting. But we're going to box in this area through here. Uh, we have to clear out this vegetation through here. We're going to take it back around um, the back side here. Hopefully have uh, a door somewhere on this end and, uh, and go from there. But uh, So hopefully this will protect the bees and the bear will decide that this is not a good idea uh, to come in here and mess with the bees. So... Bees are doing very well, uh, actually. And it's funny, you're probably going, oh my God, you're right there by the beehive with nothing on. Um, we're not messing with them. We're not messing with the hive at all. So actually, what I'm going to do for a moment, so you guys can see this, I'm going to tilt this down so you can kind of watch the door and you can see them coming in and out. Uh, it's really actually kind of cool to see. I changed the water um, this morning. And so they're going through it actually pretty quick today, but today's more of a sunny day, which is nice. Uh, the way that the bees come in and out of the beehive, what they do is they have a flight pattern. And if you can see that as the bees are coming in, uh, they're dropping in. 
So what they do is they go out, they get whatever they need to get, and they have a flight pattern basically that they utilize, and they come in and they uh, from pretty high up, and then they drop in. And uh, so it's actually really really neat to watch. And uh, like I said, as long as we're not giving them a hard time, uh, they're not gonna they're gonna be okay with whatever we're doing. So we're trying obviously not because you see them all coming in now. So they they've been. They've been out and about collecting nectar and whatever else they need to collect. And, you know, they come in and, and stuff like that. It's so cool to watch. And hopefully you're seeing that pretty clearly. I find it fascinating, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I, like I said, I don't, I don't want to mess with them. Uh, so I, do, I don't bother them more than is necessary. Uh, I do have to check, um, and I'm obviously not going to do it today while we're doing this thing. Uh, this part of the project I'm not going to do that but um, we're going to be uh, you know I'm going to be I'll, and I'll do another video when I do that uh, checking on the bees making sure the lower box so basically I'll take the top stuff off uh, and then I'll turn that top box and I'll check to make sure that they're filling everything in with that uh, lower lower box and as long as everything's filled in with a lower box then I would just re-put the top box back in place. And if they're not, what I will do is I would take an empty tray. No, I wouldn't take an empty tray. I, no, I would take a full tray out of the top box, okay, and put it into the lower box and take the empty tray in the, in the lower box and put it into the upper box. So that's how, um, you know, that's how that's done. And... Uh, but uh, so it's, it's just like I said, it's a process. I, I do have the next box. It's going to go on here, the third box. Uh, these two are called supers. Uh, there are ten in there. Some people use an eight, uh, an eight uh, wide one. Um, I went with a ten wide. I don't know why. That's just what I went with. Uh, so uh, the bees are doing um, a great job, you know, cleaning that all out. And so uh, you know that's that's what's happening. Uh, with that part. So once they get these two filled up, uh, I will be adding on the third box. It has the queen separator, which means the queen is much bigger than the, the regular bees. And so what will end up happening is uh, she won't be able to get into the third box. So the third box would be strictly honey. The whole box, once they fill it out, would be all honey. Okay. So, which is really neat. And uh, then you know, once they get going with that third box, you know, as, as the summer goes on and they're doing more and more, what we'll end up doing is we will, uh, we will have, um, uh, what was I going to say? We'll have a, uh, the fourth box would go on. So once the fourth box is on, that would be whatever honey I get out of that fourth box would be our honey. So, um, hopefully, you know, like I said, they're, they're very busy. You can see this whole time that I've been talking um, them coming in, you know, it's getting later in the day. Uh, we're after five o'clock right now, so let me just look at. Actually, it's six o'clock right now, so uh, that so they're basically they're making their last runs and coming home for the night. I think that's how that pretty much works, because I'm not seeing too many of them coming back out. Uh, they're basically finishing up whatever runs that they're doing, and uh, but if you looked closer. Um, which is actually neat. I don't know if you guys can zoom it when you're doing this, but if you watch the bees as they come in, you'll see the stuff on their legs, and it's really, really cool. It's just it, the whole process is uh, it's amazing what they do, and uh, they like I said they they absolutely fascinate me, and I enjoy them. And uh, you know, like I said, we if you have a good relationship with your bees, then you're not going to have any problems. We should have been prepared on this better. Let me show you over here what we're running into. Okay, the vegetation here has not been cleared out, which is our, our own fault. We piss poor planning, <laughs> but it happens. So we have to right now, we have to clear this vegetation out because you don't want to have that interfering uh, with the fencing at all. And uh, again, so this is my first time dealing with this and uh, we're trying to get this uh, squared away. You don't have to go that far back up there, man. Is that my machete or your machete? Your Fine. machete. Wait till I dub it up a few enough, then I'll drop you. Is it yours, Johnson? 
I got bad memory. Yes, Johnson. Yeah. Okay. If you want to do the walking, I, I can get you a uh, machete. You can do it like he's doing. Uh, the the, the funny-looking uh, setup over there, I got, uh, if you go in by the uh, my hunting tent, there should be a machete on top of the uh, Yeah, but it's not going to take them longer to walk there and back than what I'm going to take a clear dust. Okay. Take a break and watch then. Just, just step away from that, Johnson, so you don't. I don't want you getting stung. You should be. You shouldn't have a problem, because, like I said, we're getting towards the time of night where you can see that they're coming in. They're going to bed. Let's just get that closer, maybe. Uh, let's see. Where is my? There we go. So I'm going to leave it like that for a second, guys, so you can see them coming and going. Well, they're not really going, they're coming in. So that's kind of what's happening now. Yeah, that's cool. Now you're getting to see it really good. And they come in for the landing. We got to get that in here cleaned out too, if we could. That's uh, okay. That's not chopped yet. No, no. But anyway, the bees are really neat. Um, what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here in just a moment. But I just kind of wanted to show you how this is done. Um, like I said, not one of us have protective gear on and nobody has gotten stung. Uh, the bees are, like I said, they're coming in for the evening, as you can see, which is really, really, I, I don't know, I just, like I said, I find it really cool. And normally during the day, you're going to see a lot more activity in and out. But, uh, you know, the, the bees are not stupid, which is actually really interesting how they, they do things. And, uh, but they're, like I said, they're coming in for the night. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just the whole thing is so cool. I find it very, very fascinating. But uh, I am going to jump off of here for right now. We're going to continue to get this done, and I'll, I'll kind of show you. Maybe we'll do a, a second video once we get more organized here. <laughs> so uh, we will see, all right? Sorry about the the thing but that it kind of gives you an idea what we're doing and uh, we're trying to get these guys squared away especially now that we know that the uh, the black bear are around we definitely do not want to have that problem so we got to get this fence up and charged uh, to get that so that they're going to be squared away all right all right guys remember we're all in this together we are one race called the human race as soon as we can figure that one out we truly will be in much much better shape also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that is going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Stay positive, stay away from negative people telling you what you can't do because you can do anything that you set your mind to with realistic expectations. All right, I will see you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.